it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you got to be willing to give up sleep. So you thought it was the end of the story. <laughs> So you thought just because the student was willing to be obedient to the guru and not only wake up but meet him at the beach early in the morning and taught him that the secret to success is wanting it as bad as you want to breathe. So you thought that was the end of the story? Well, you thought wrong. In fact, it's far from over. That was the easy part. Now, now it's time to redefine the grind. you thought it was over well it's just getting started see this is the part this is the part where life demands you make a lifelong commitment this is the part where life demands that you make a vow come hell or high water that you're willing to pay the price the full fare where you earn your spot with effort with sweat with blood with tears so you say you want it as bad as you want to breathe then it's show time it's examination time it's time to get tested to test your will your endurance it's time to test your heart to test your limits this is the part where you reinvent yourself No, 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 it's about no days off, no weekends, no holidays, no birthdays, listen to me, no days off, no half days, no holidays, no snow days, it's about gaining the competitive edge, it's about separation, it's about separating yourself from the past, the competition, it's about being a little faster, a little stronger, listen to me, a little faster than you were last year, last month, last week.
you tell a story with the lion and gazelle. You're still stuck. You're a gazelle. You are, you are a gazelle. You need something to motivate you. What happens to the gazelle when the lion ain't chasing him? And what happens is he, nothing. He stops running. Why? Because he always needs something external to motivate him. There are a lot of people, you're not successful in life, not because you ain't got talent, not because you ain't got skills, but your character ain't right. And I've told you this before, that if you're not careful, your talent will take you places that your character can't keep you. So what's your motive? When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, when you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you could think about them, you could go one more mile. You could go one more day at work. You could find, you can find a scholarship. Listen to me, when you're doing it for somebody else, when you like that lion, if I don't grind, if we don't grind, if I don't grind, they don't eat. This is it. This is, I can't, I can't, I can't. I wish I could back off, but it's fourth quarter. I wish I could tell you something else. I wish I could tell you, you tired, go take a break. I wish I could tell you, tired, rest for a year. I wish I could tell you that, that it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. The, the weight, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is, you got to find something within. You got to find something within, and that's got to push you, and that's got to elevate you, and that's got to drive you, and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is, and your why got to be deeper than you, when you find your why, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. If tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you get for today? Forget everything else. Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself or the man that's beside you? Or the man that you know you'd give everything in your heart for? We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to do whatever you're going to do, to lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make, whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy, and it's found through effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen, but effort, nobody can judge effort, because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So that team that think they're ready to see you, they think what they seen on film, they ain't saw what film shows. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now than I was five minutes ago. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. So let's do what we do. Listen to me closely. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you. But doors start opening. Opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit during the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's the difference between the greats. That's, that's what separates them. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe. So I ask you, what do you intend to do now?
name's Ryan Boyd, and I play you in.